Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Seed, Feed and Occasionally Weed for Bowel Health. Part 1, circa 1987. The companion article is entitled Seed, Feed, and Occasionally Weed for Bowel Health circa 2012. Please watch that segment as well. In the first series of books that I wrote for my general readership, including The Canary and Chronic Fatigue and The Butterfly and Lifespan Nutrition, I developed and explained at length a simple notion that I had published earlier on and presented at the American Academy of Environmental Medicine. And the idea is very simple, that the microbes in the gut, which are of course crucial for preserving our health and reversing heart disease, helping us digest food, produce some vitamins for us, produce some good fatty acids for us, and hold and control disease-causing microbes so we can be healthy and coexist with disease-causing microbes. So the idea was that these bowel flora, at that time I wasn't talking about the gastric flora or the oral cavity flora or the flora of the intestine. I was primarily focusing on the flora of the colon. So the idea was seeded. In other words, put probiotics in it. The best sources are of course yogurt and kefir, but you can use preparations such as acidophilus or bifidobacterium, streptococcus officium, now that is seeding. The feeding was that these microbes also need their growth factors, vitamin B12, hydrothenic acid. And of course, equally important is that we exclude the disease-causing microbes with voracious appetites by minimizing the supply of starches and sugar on which the fermenting microbes thrive. So the concept of feeding is two ways. Feed them, feed them the right substances and then also minimize feeding the bad guys. And occasionally weeding meant that sometimes when you have an overgrowth of these fermenting microbes, bacteria as well as yeast, then you want to bring some anti-yeast herbs, spices. And in my practice, I find nystatin extremely valuable. There's a separate program on nystatin, N-Y-S-T-A-T-I-N. If you have chronic problems with the bowel, irritable bowel disease, Crohn's colitis, diabetic colitis, ischemic colitis, bloating, flatulence, please watch that segment, nystatin. Now, I have used this seed feed and occasionally wheat approach for every single one of my patients with chronic diseases, whether it was colitis or it was colon cancer. And I consider it as a pivotal part of my integrative program. Now that was, as I said, I presented those early papers at the American Academy of Environmental Medicine, I think as far early as 19, early 1980s, but by 1986-87, I had published large papers and then, of course, in my books. In part B, I'm going to give you this quote from the New York Times, 2012. I'll give you the quote and I'll come back in part two. As we learn more about the complex contributions of the trillions of microbes we carry, some scientists want to be more like landscapers, nurturing the good and weeding out the bad. How interesting. This quote is from the front page of the science section of the New York Times of June 19, 2012. I read the article. I didn't expect that the New York Times would ever pay tribute to people who've been writing about the, this approach seeding and feeding and weeding approach, after I introduced this concept, most of my colleagues in integrative medicine actually adopted this and they would write this in their writings and uh, very graciously and kindly, they will cite my original work which led to this idea. Please look at part B. I want to give you some information about that.
Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much.